In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Well, good evening and a very warm welcome to our Eucharist on this rather blowy night tonight. We pray your, the God's blessing on us as we gather in worship. And here come Pat and Mike. Our intention in our Mass this morning really is for the people of Ukraine. We're praying for them tonight, for the small glimmerings of hope for a peaceful settlement of the problems in Ukraine. And also remember tonight the Bingham family who had their funeral here today for Annabelle. Keep them also in our prayers tonight. Some words from Psalm 119. O Lord, I delight in your commandments, which I have always loved. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. We pray together the prayer of preparation. Let's pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who alone can bring order to the unruly wills and passions of sinful humanity, give us your people grace, so to love what you command, and to desire what you promise. That among the many changes of this world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading this evening is taken from the letter of James, chapter 1, verses 19 to the end. You must understand this, my beloved. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. For your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror for they look at themselves and, <clears throat> going away, immediately forget what they were like. 
But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being not hearers who forget but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. If any think they are religious <coughs> and do not bridle their tongue but, receive their, but deceive their hearts, <coughs> their religion is worthless. <coughs> but religion that is pure and undefiled before God, the Father, <coughs> is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself untainted by the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the response to Psalm 15 is, Blessed are those who persevere in the law. Blessed, Blessed are those who persevere in the, in the law. <clears throat> Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may rest upon your holy hill? Whoever leads an uncorrupt life and does the thing that is right. Blessed are those who persevere in the law, who speak the truth from their heart and bear no deceit on the tongue, who does no evil to a friend and pours no scorn on a neighbour. Blessed are those who persevere in the law, in whose sight is the wick of, uh, in whose sight the wicked are not esteemed, but who honours those who fear the Lord. Whoever has sworn to a neighbour and never goes back on that word. Blessed are those who persevere in the law, who does not lend money in hope of gain, nor takes a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never fall. Blessed are those who persevere in the law. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to Bethsaida. Some people brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. And when he had put saliva on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Can you see anything? And the man looked up and said, I can see people, but they look like trees, trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he looked intently and his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Then he sent him away to his home, saying, Do not even go into the village. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ Jesus, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks tonight for your love in Christ, revealed for all people, all time, in every place. Lord, your love revealed in Christ, who restores all things. Father, we pray tonight, Lord, for your church, its work of mission, ministry, and witness. And Father, we pray that your church may be not just hearers of the word, but doers that we may act and show forth in our lives, in practical ways, the hope of our salvation in Christ Jesus. Lord, strengthen your church in its witness, in its mission and ministry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember our world, its brokenness, its pain and suffering. And Lord, we hold in our prayers tonight the people of the Ukraine. And Lord, the anxiety they've been living under for many weeks now. We give thanks, Lord, for the small glimmerings of the pullback of Russian forces. Lord, we continue to pray for the diplomatic efforts being made by all countries. Pray, Lord, that war may not happen. 
that peace may come to that country. Father, give thanks, Lord, for efforts being made by all politicians to reduce, Lord, the tension on the border. Lord, we pray for all political leaders that they may work for peace and for tranquility. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we hold in our prayers tonight to all who are suffering in body, mind or spirit, and particularly remembering the Bingham family tonight. Father, we pray for Natalie, for Gareth, for May, in their grievous loss. Father, we pray for the family and all the good friends who gathered here today in thanksgiving for her life. Father, we pray your comfort and grace upon them all. Lord, reveal to them, Lord, your presence and peace that Annabel is in safe hands. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember tonight too all those whom we have asked for our prayers. Especially Pat and Paul Johnson, Roland Jepson, Matt and his family, Betty Bennell, Jackie and Ted Hipkin, Lao Mui Huang, Patrick, Naomi Bong, Jackie Lloyd and Natalie, Denise Elliott, Sonia Clark, June Hall, Dean and his family, Edna Clark, And Bob Mills. And Father, on this Wednesday evening, we also remember Margaret Routledge, John Reed, Tim Taylor, Myra Wilcox, Monica Jones, Betty Collingwood, and Paul and Sylvia Townsend. Lord, we pray that you bless, strengthen, and encourage all, Lord, for whom we have prayed. Surround them with your loving arms. And Lord, grant them, we pray, your healing and your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we commend your keeping, in particular today, the repose of the soul of Annabel Bingham. And Father, we pray that she may rest in your love and peace at this time. Lord, we also remember, Lord, Philip Hurd. We remember also, Lord, all whose years minds fall at this time. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they all rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we stand for the peace. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. And off each other a distance, sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you. 
which earth has given human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. God, our sustainer in this holy sacrament, feed us continually with that bread which satisfies all hunger. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We give thanks to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praise as Heavenly Father through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, 
inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. The blood of Christ. Oh. Amen.
I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Merciful Father, who gave Jesus Christ to be for us the bread of life, that those who come to him should never hunger. Draw us to the Lord in faith and love, that we may eat and drink with him at the table of his kingdom, where he is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of the Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Just before I say the words of this missal, lovely to have you this evening and all those online sharing in our worship tonight. I hope you'll feel encouraged through the word and sacrament. Now our words of this missal. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.